hello guys welcome back to my channel let's continue with the friendship readings um so um today to, to continue this series we are going to be talking about this duo about actor uh, park seo jun and bts uh, member uh, taeyong or b as you know him um so let's talk a bit about this too um Let's talk a bit about uh, Park Seo Hoon. Um, he is a Sagittarius with a moon in Pisces. And Young is a Capricorn with a moon in Aries. Um, I believe I had read for them. I think I had pendant to do actually, I think, an individual reading for, for Park Seo Hoon. Um, and. Um, I believe I, I think I read for probably the group they have together with the other actors and the young. Um, I do not remember, <clears throat> or probably was in, in my imagination that I think I done that reading and I don't know really well. I do not remember <laughs> correctly right now. So let's begin. I placed, as you can see in the screen, uh, Park Seo Hoon. Uh, on the on the left and Taeyong's uh, spread on the right. So let's see. Um, uh, Park Seo Hoon got uh, the Four of Pentacles, the Judgment, and the Page of Swords in reverse. So definitely, um, uh, Park Seo Hoon is going through a period of. Uh, a lot of transformation, um, not only uh, professional, uh, but also um, very personal. I think that um, there's a kind of project that he has um, or some kind of opportunity that it has to do with work, probably has to do with money as well. and somehow he's like holding that information from others not only from from Taeyong but he's keeping it a secret he's like holding really tight to this opportunity because this opportunity actually can change his whole life uh, probably can give like a new a new path uh, or a new um, a new circumstance for him and probably this is something that he really wants and um, I think that actually is bigger than um, than a movie role you know or, or a role on a series or a role on a drama I think that it's it's more about building a foundation or a stability for his personal life there's something about his circumstances that are changing or are about to change. And it has to do with a sort of commitment, with a sort of very personal uh, election of his or choice that he has to make that is going to affect his relationship or his routine with others. So I don't know if it has to do with him like getting into a relationship with someone because I don't see like any kind of love uh, relationship here, but he's talking about a certain commitment. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if he actually got married or is thinking about getting married or something like that. But it's it's a, a long term like uh, project. So he's thinking about it. He's thinking about taking that uh, adventure and like stepping into the unknown. But he's afraid to talk about it, actually. So I don't know what is it about, to be honest. Because the page of source is in reverse. So if we have to see this from his perspective and his relationship with Taeyong, I think there's something about their dynamic or their friendship that is slightly changing. Um, since the page of source is in reverse, probably there's... Probably they are like... Each of them, they are like making really important decisions for themselves. So probably they they had to sign like some like um, 
confidentiality kind of papers or contracts or they had to sign something so there's something about them like not trying to reveal too much to each other you know and and i think that this mostly is coming from from Park so hoon side you know that he is about to enter a certain transformation that actually he's his whole life is going to change really soon and somehow he cannot talk about it or he cannot uh, give details about it you know he has to keep silent uh, until this um, this uh, calling or this uh, this event happens and, and is a part of the reality and he's also holding really like really possessively and really jealous jealously to this event so probably this is something that he really wants you know something that he really wants because he's holding really tight so probably it could be like a job offer or something like that so i see like he's showing that actually he has like a very strong connection with b with Young, but that his circumstances are changing and that they are not communicating their that often you know, or probably when they communicate, they just do not have time to to talk about certain things. Because I see uh, Tay, uh, Tay uh, Young's side also, like, looking also at his own uh, career, you know, that he's really busy. So probably this has to do with them actually not being able to find the, the right time to see each other or to meet or probably when they do meet there's something like it seems like they are going through different experiences you know they are going through different levels of maturity as well and they even though they do appreciate each other and there's this sense of friendship and they they want to keep having this friendship and this connection um they they do not communicate that uh, often you know and i think that when they talk to each other probably they talk about really vain superficial things you know like they do not go that deep you know they they probably just um uh, just have conversations where they are like, okay how are you I wanted to check on you, I wanted to see how you're doing, how your things are doing. Um, and then because of their, especially because of Tay's uh, tight schedules, uh, probably they do not have much time to, to actually get that deep into conversations. Because I think that they had, in the past, they had a sort of like, more stable dynamic when it comes to how often they communicated probably they were more relaxed and they could meet often but now it seems like both of them are like so invested in in their own careers that th th their careers are even though they are from the entertainment industry they are from different uh different um professions so uh, they sometimes do see each other and they sometimes don't and when they see each other it seems like the encounter is really brief you know so but the appreciation is here it's just that like I mentioned from Sehun's side I can see that he is holding is he's withholding information he's not I think that he signed a contract or something that he cannot give details or he cannot like vastly communicate what he is, has been up to you know because there's there's uh, there's something that is telling him to not give details especially when you are in communication with someone like do not let some information slip you know like do not talk about this at least not now maybe in the future but not now um, so let's go with uh, Taeyong's side. He got the King of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, and the King of Cups. 
Sao Tseyang is a whole bus, actually. <laughs> he got the king of pentacles, he is a Capricorn. So definitely he is a king, you know. Uh, B is someone that is he's also like in his whole essence. I have so much respect for B. He's owning his power, he's owning everything that he is. He's marvelous. And he's becoming so brave that I just love this from him. You know, I love this energy coming from him. And I think that this also has to do with, with how he feels about uh, Pak Seo Hoon. Because actually he feels like he truly loves uh, Pak Seo Hoon. Probably uh, Pak Seo Hoon have been a really good influence for B and a really good influence for B uh, sort of maturity or for B's like contributing to being a sort of mentor for B. Probably he had said I, I'm sorry that I I I call uh, Taeyong B and Taeyong and and I go back and forth with their names, but you know that I'm talking about him. <laughs> I'm talking about uh, BTS Taeyong. It's just that sometimes I call him B, and sometimes I call him Taeyong. So, um, but um, I will try to stick to Taeyong because I'm talking about the person here, not the stage name, not the performer. So I think that uh, Taeyong is showing me here that actually. He had learned to be more comfortable with being this king, this king character, because he had learned from his youngs, actually. He had learned from actually his friendship with these people that I believe these, these uh, actors, these, these, uh, this group that they have, uh, this group of friendship, this group of friends that he hangs out with. Uh, they are older than him, so he actually learned a lot from them. He probably copied a lot of their body language, a lot of the way they talk, the way they communicate. He had absorbed a lot of maturity. Um, and also he had learned to have good taste. So I don't know if maybe this group of friends of uh, that are actors of Taeyong are actually people that they do have like a very luxurious kind of life or at least they are surrounded by a lot of uh, brand deals or a lot of fancy things you know so probably Taeyong has been able to absorb the, that kind of culture that kind of um, like uh, the kind of lifestyle you know and actually get really comfortable with liking that kind of uh, lifestyle you know um, because actually he's really young so probably if you see Tay being really like fancy or being into very old-fashioned things probably he had learned this from his older uh, friends or friendships um, and then I think here with the two of ones and the, the king of of cups definitely I think that he kind of knows what Pak Sehun is is working on probably he knows and he's looking forward to this because I I see him like here with the two of ones he's really excited he's waiting for for to see him he's waiting to see him su be successful he's ruling for him he's really excited he's really proud as well and I think that Probably if it is announced that uh, Pak Seo Hoon is going to be participating in a lot of projects or very like um, highlighted or important uh, uh, deals or, or activities, I think that you will see Taeyong being his number one cheerleader, kind of. I, I see him like actually trying to make him feel loved you know even if they are at a distance i can see him like sending flowers sending loving messages like doing a lot of loving gestures towards park so hoon you know to remind uh, park so hoon that even though taeyong it's a really busy guy he's a really busy person but he doesn't forget how much he loves his his friends you know he's a really good friend and i think that he definitely 
loves a lot so whom he he has this very warm feeling in his heart because i can feel it even in me he just smiles like a little boy like looking at his older brother you know he's really proud of him of of him so this is really beautiful actually so then the 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 cards that came out as an overall is the ten of cups uh the star card in reverse and the six of pentacles so i think that yes the relationship will keep improving in time because we have the ten of cups that it's a whole emotional fulfillment when it comes to their bond their relationship their friendship it, their friendship will keep getting stronger and stronger and i think that actually you will be able to see this because um there's something because here we have the star card in reverse and the six of pentacles so there could be potentially some kind of letdown or disappointment when it comes to what they are hoping to achieve for next year probably one of them has this very um very anticipated and very wanted project that they want to achieve because i know i mentioned sohun has something and taeyong has something as well because he's super busy because he's part of it yes um but i'm not i'm not really like um really able here to to say to say who is going to be the one but i think there's going to be like a disappointment about the financial distribution of money or the financial there's something that probably they they would expect to make more money or they would expect this project to be more successful so there's going to be a bit of a disappointment or there's going to be a delay in them actually getting the reward that they are asking for so actually the ten of ones uh, the ten of cups here is actually to remind them that as long as they have people that love them around them that they will be always uh um find a way to start over you know that they do not need to put their eggs in one basket you know that they can have other projects so probably there's something about a project that they are really excited about and that somehow probably the numbers or the public response is not going to be as they were hoping it would be um so uh, or maybe there's going to be like a, a kind of like a scam or a kind of disappointment when it comes to how much you are getting paid probably you know like they promised you will earn a certain amount of money and then you realize that they didn't pay you that or you were promised some kind of deal and it didn't happen so i see a bit of unfairness here when it comes to financial things but i see them like like actually that they will be there for each other if that happens you know that actually um this you know this 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 uh this a spread is actually uh, telling me that um that yes financial security is important and to be able to have a job and to be able to to be active and to have um your um a very successful profession especially in their case that they, they there are so many new actors so many new uh new new bands new you know there are a lot of things coming for next year next year like i mentioned i think i mentioned this when i did a reading for i believe it was for kepler i don't know if that's how it's pronounced this this girl group that was the beauty after a uh, planet 999 but there's going to be a lot of competition next year you know for next year um so it, i'm not saying that they're going to fail i'm just saying that probably the retribution is not going to be that much as they were expecting so they definitely uh will need to be there for each other just in case you know just to to be a sort of emotional support you know to be this 
this uh, sort of uh, emotional um, network, you know, so, so you can be this kind of net, this safe net, safety net, so you can support your friend, you know, so you can support uh, the person that you really, that you really like, you know, so uh, I see them here that even though probably like finances are not going to be as they were hoping it would be, the the level of um, loving and also very a very true um, and a very like warm feeling of family is going to come out of this. It's, it's as if they are going to realize who who they can trust and who are there for them when they when things don't work out, you know, or probably when things are not always as happy as it appears to be you know that sometimes it's like this you know sometimes we know that this is why i'm always really selective when it comes to reading for certain duos or certain uh couples or certain uh idols or actors that are paired together you know because i'm very selective when i read for them because if I feel like there's nothing in, 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 in the duo in that they have in common beside having worked together in the past, it's like, of course, that they see each other, they text each other, you know, but it, it doesn't mean that there's a friendship bond, you know. And I'm giving this as an example because uh, sometimes the cards are really, tarot cards are really honest and straightforward about energies. So there are a lot of people asking me about certain duos that actually they, they do not have anything in common but networking or actually one of, of, of the parts being interested in getting associated with this sort of person so they can get more famous or so they can get like more popularity. You know, so I think that sometimes uh, I see that people just push uh, relationships and, and interactions too far. You know, I see when they make videos, when they make edits, you know, it's like, oh, they're soulmates. Oh, this, this member mentioned this member, you know, and it's like, that doesn't mean anything. It just means that they acknowledge each other's existence <laughs> and that just because they work in the same industry doesn't mean that they're soulmates. Like you, in order for you to create a strong bond with someone, you need to spend time with them. You need to actually get out of your schedule, like tell your willpower to actually be like, oh, I'm going to spend time with this person. Like I'm going to save a, a, a flight ticket or I'm going to... Um, take a cup, a cup, and I'm going to go see them, and I'm going to go and 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 do some do gestures, physical. You know that demand, uh, willpower. You know, ball, um, like uh, you moving, you like, <laughs> you know, like not only like tag, tagging someone. You know, it, it's more about you doing a physical work, you know, like you put in the effort and that this effort uh, remains in time. You know, that it's not just because, oh, they just recorded an episode together or they just recorded an, an, a radio episode. So they, they, they maintain eye contact for three minutes. So it's like they are soulmates. No, friendships doesn't work that way. So in the case of uh, uh, Pak Seo Hoon, and, and Taeyong, um, they had been maintaining this friendship through the years, even though they, I think that when they met, when they, when they were working in this, in this uh, K-drama that I think that it was called Har Warang or Huarang, um, they just could have left it there. And actually they didn't, you know, th that whole group then they became friends, you know, and they, and you can see them like posting pictures of each other, you know, even though they are busy, even though their lifestyles is totally different, um, they make time to acknowledge each other's 
existence, but not each other's existence like, oh, like you are in a famous group and I'm in a famous group, so I'm going to sing your song. It's not about that, you know, it's you about like, oh, you and me, we are going fishing. Something like that, you know, something out of the ordinary, when you, where you can actually see the person behind the entertainer or the person behind the performer and see them acting like real friends, you know, like being awkward, like being, uh, like uh, taking not so flattering pictures of each other, you know, that's what friendships are about, you know. <laughs> so, yes, guys, it, it was a great reading. Uh, thanks so, so much to the person that recommended this duo. Uh, so, yes, let's wish them, both of them, a great success in everything that they do and that they, their relationship keeps growing and growing. So thank you so much, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.